Are you wanting to get that tone from the Weezer song, Say It Ain't So, but you can't quite dial it in? Well, I wanna show you how to get Weezer's Say It Ain't So sound with your Fender Champion 40. And you might be thinking, I don't have the right kind of amp, I don't have the right kind of guitar, but it is possible, I'm gonna show you how. Hey, I'm Derek at 5 Minute Music and I have over 25 years experience playing the electric guitar, teaching students how to play and use their amps, doing some live recording and live sound and some mixing, and I'm excited to help you dial in the sound for one of my favorite bands on one of their favorite songs. So let's get started. We're gonna start with the clean tone because that's how the song starts out. So what I want you to do is make sure you have channel one selected. The way you know is if the button's pushed in and those lights are on, that's channel two. Make sure the button is out and those lights are off. You are now on channel one. So put the volume on whatever you're comfortable with. I'm gonna put mine on three for the sake of this room and this recording. Next, set your treble to five and set your bass to five. That's your EQ section. Treble to five, bass to five, and no effects, okay? Now, I don't own the performance rights to this song, so I can't play the song for you. I don't wanna be demonetized, but I can give you kind of a, a riff that gives you the idea of the tone. So here we go. So there we go, we've got the clean tone. If you like that, would you hit the like button and please subscribe and hit the bell if you want notifications for when I come out with more reviews like this. Now, let's do the distortion. It's an awesome part on the chorus. Now what you're gonna wanna do is push in this button and select channel two. And remember, when these lights come on, you're on channel two. Go ahead and select British yellow. That's gonna give you a really awesome tone and turn your gain up to 10. Now don't worry, if you think I'm going a little too fast, in the description section below, I'll put all the settings for the clean and distorted tones, all right? So remember, put your uh, the voice knob on British yellow, put your volume on whatever you're comfortable with. I'm gonna do four, I really feel like the amp opens up and gives me a better tone when I get up around four. And then put your gain on 10. Remember, this is a distorted sound, you wanna rock out. Now, EQ, you're gonna change it a little bit. Set your treble, to eight and set your bass all the way up to 10. And again, no effects. All right, let's see the moment of truth. Let's see what we've got. By the way, on the clean tone, I used my neck pickup and on this distorted tone, I'm using the bridge pickup. So here we go. Now, if you heard that and you're like, what in the world? That was fantastic sounding, and you don't own this amp yet, I wanna tell you how you can get it. In the description section below, where it says buy now, if you'll click there, that'll take you to amazon.com. It's $219.99 with free shipping, and they'll get it to you quick. Now, I am an Amazon affiliate, and if you do end up ordering it through Amazon, I get a small commission at no extra charge to you, and I would really appreciate it. That's just how I help support this channel. Now, if you have more questions about the Fender Champion 40, in the comments below where it says question of the day, let me know what else would you like to know about the Fender Champion 40. Now, I also have some videos. If you're wanting some additional settings and wanting to know a little bit more about the Fender Champion 40, just click right there. If you're wondering how in the world this amp compares to the Fender Champion 20, just click right there. And as always, if you click right here and subscribe and hit the bell, you'll be notified as soon as I do more videos like this. As always, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for your time. God bless. Have a great day. Bye.